Now, two weddings, one birthday and the grand finale of Nigerian Idol, sponsored by Etisalat, all will rock your screen on this week's edition of Metrofile. And thank you so much once again for joining us. Well, from what I said earlier, you need not be told that it's going to be a loaded package full of so, so interesting stuff that you really want to see, trust me. So sit back and let's see a sneak preview of what to expect. I'm Ogich Kwasi. Well, it's a new chapter open in the life of one of us here in Channels Television, a newscaster, Temi Tokbe Egbedeyi, now married to her love, Olu Tokbe Fagbini. Dr. Chinedu Obwaya and Dr. Olu Dolakbo Shubanjo received the blessings of their parents to begin their lives together. And Mrs. Pamela Roberts glow on her 80th birthday. The Nigerian Idol, sponsored by Etisalat, comes to an end with Mercy, the big winner of the night. The fabulous Mercy! All right, she's a newscaster here in Channels Television that goes by the name Temi Tokbe Egbedeyi, but I tell you, that has changed. She is now Temi Tokbe Fagbemi. Yes, Temi Tokbe's name changed after she said I do to her man, Olu Tokbe Fagbemi, at the Archbishop Vining's Memorial Church Cathedral in Lagos. Well, it's began with the engagement. <laughs> The much anticipated day in the families of Egbedeyi and Fagwemi started like this. The Fagwemi family in the house of the Egbedeyi to ask for their daughter's hand in marriage. The groom, Olutope Fagwemi, takes a bold step as he arrived with his family. Well, the bride, Temi Tokwe Egbedeyi, anxiously prepares for her big day. Back in the hall, the guests watched keenly as the groom meets his in-laws. As soon as he settles down, beautiful Timitope, beaming with smiles, stepped in, looking so colorful. And now to her husband, who's been waiting for her. She steps forward to meet him. that done, the groom now has to go ahead to engage the bride formally. The following day, the couple went to seek God's blessing at the Archbishop Vining Memorial Church Cathedral, Lagos, where the wedding was held.
to the part where they make their vows to each other. The officiating minister formally hands the bride over to the groom's family. And the presence of this occasion, we hand over to the top of now we see the top of Adiola Fati. And after those words from the officiating minister, the couple went ahead to authenticate their marriage by signing the dotted lines. It was followed by thanksgiving to God. And that brought the service to a close. They should fear the Lord and walk within the realm of faithfulness. I want them to pray for them so that they will be able to remain faithful to their uh, marital uh, vows. And I want them to bring up their children in the way of the Lord. Well, he is very caring, he's loving, he's responsible, and he's very considerate. She's God fearing, well brought up from a good home. The family background is the first thing. Then secondly, I looked at other parameters, you know, our intelligence quotient and every other thing. In terms of beauty, she's there and, you know, every other thing that you can want. She's, she just represents my own dream. They proceeded to the reception held at the church premises at the Adetiloye Hall. And just as they settled down, the event started immediately as the guests received the newlyweds who make their way in joyfully. It was obviously a full house made up of family, friends and well-wishers who came to share in their joy. The next step is cutting their lovely cake. And the dance floor was open for everyone to have fun with the couple.
where they both started a new life together and we can only wish them all the best. Okay, two cultures, two individuals, great fusion. That's exactly the atmosphere when Dr. Chinedu Obuaye and Dr. Oludola Shubanjo came together, of course, with the blessings of their families to become one in a colorful event which was well attended, held in the Bright's family compound in Ugo State. The 14th of April marked the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of the children of Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Shobanjo of Ogun State and Dr. and Mrs. Tony Obwaya from Delta State as they give their blessing to their children who begin their lives together as husband and wife. The event held at the Shubanjo country home in Ogun State and it was indeed colorful and not short of eminent personalities. They include retired General Theophilos Danjuma and wife Daisy Danjuma, former governor of Ogun State, Chief Olusegun Shoba, former governor of Ekiti State, Chief Ni Adebayo, Chief Dele Fajemi Rokum and wife, representatives of the Oba of Benin, business partners, family members, and other dignitaries from all walks of life. <laughs> And that set the ball rolling. I will hand over the letter not to you, sir, but to mommy. Until over to you, ma'am. The real ceremony started as the groom, Dr. Chedu Obwaya, makes his way in, clad in a colorful agbada. Immediately the groom arrived. He didn't wait long before his bride, Oludolakwa Shobanjo, was ushered in. Take the symbolic Bible, and that was followed by the official engagement. The joy of the bride's mother was evident.
grateful to God for this day, and uh, it's everything I expected of today. Blessings shared on them, and that the couple will have a joyful married life. One must thank God that one is alive to witness, um, and also to be grateful to God that Dolakwa found somebody that she loved. And together, they cut their cake. And finally, they all had a great time dancing to some really good music. Welcome back. Now, in our last two editions of Metrofile, we featured 8th birthday of different personalities, as it seems like the celebration of 8th birthday is in vogue right now. Okay, next on our lineup this week is Mrs. Pamela Roberts, mother of veteran broadcaster Mrs. Bimbo Oloide. Now, Mrs. Pamela Roberts was pampered by her children, grandchildren, and of course, great grandchildren during her 8th birthday. In Tucker's blue and gold combination, Mrs. Pamela Roberts glows on her 80th birthday. This special occasion was marked with a special Thanksgiving service at the All Saints Church Anglican Communion in Festac, Lagos. Mrs. Roberts, no doubt, is celebrating 80 years of God's abundant blessings and grace upon her and her family. Hence, her children decided to make it grand for her as her joy knows no bounds. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. To set the celebrants in the mood, the officiating minister sang this song that got her to her feet. The minister in his sermon went ahead to describe Mrs. Roberts as a great woman worthy of emulation. As a daughter in the priestly family, she has a very wonderful CV. As an educated person, as a wife, you cannot rubbish a CV. It was immediately followed by the Thanksgiving and the celebrants with the family and the congregation danced and praised God. And with the whole congregation, they sing for Super Grand.
After that, this hymn brought the service to a close and the reception started as guests make their way in. From the day I married my wife, I never had a mother-in-law. I always had a mother. And that is enough to describe what she is. Uh, my prayer is that I also will live to be that age, not only that age, but uh, the strength and uh, vigor she has to go with it. That is the prayer. She's a, she's a woman in a million, really, you know. Um, I, I've rarely seen her angry, um, but any time she is angry, it's, uh, she's fully justified. The colorful reception was held at the church hall where they entertained the guests. While they enjoyed the music rendition from Mr. Tunde Oluyade, the celebrants and their children arrived. Mrs. Pamela Roberts was born in Aba in 1932. She met her husband, Melville Roberts, and they got married in 1953. The marriage was blessed with four children. Today, she's a proud great grandmother whom they all celebrate on this day. The grandchildren wrote this poem for their grandmother. Age is a number, that is the half we know. But old is a wonder, doesn't it already show? Old means experienced, it means value, it means strength. And a toast to Super Gran. <laughs> After those words, she moved to cut a cake. Eighty years and still very strong. And we will move ahead as you all know by now that Mercy Chimu is the winner of the Etisalat sponsored season two of Nigerian Idol, where the grand finale was held recently in Lagos. Here are some of the sights and sounds. It started with a cocktail as guests arrived. And if you look at the whole concept of Nigerian idols, it's giving youths a platform where, that, where they can fulfill their dreams. Uh, we have seen that in Nigeria there has been a lot of talent. And uh, if I compare that to what I have seen on the TV, on uh, other music shows, you can really see that there is no difference. Even the quality of the production of music videos is very, very high in Nigeria. After months of intensive drilling, the Nigerian Idol admitted a new star into the Nigerian music industry in a grand finale. Spiced up with so much glitz and glamour, many viewers could not wait to watch the two final contestants, Anthony Ebo, who fans call Joe Blue and Mercy Chingwo, give their best shots. The show kicked off with a heartwarming performance by the 10 evicted contestants of the top 12. Now, of course, in terms of music, there is nothing greater uh, that rings true and is of interest to the young market band music. Fans of the show craving for yet another performance got more than they bargained for. One of the finalists, Mercy, reenacted her great performance of the last zombie as she rendered the song to the delight of the audience. The 
the other finalist, Joe After the performance by the two finalists, the moments everyone was waiting for finally came. Mercy Chiwo from River State walked away with a brand new car from Etisalat, a cash prize of 7.5 million naira, and a recording contract. Well, from nowhere to somewhere, that's the story, and it's only hard work, commitment, and patience that can get you there. Okay, so on that winning spirit, we wrap up the program this week, but you can reach us on Metrofile at channelstv.com and on Twitter at Okichikuwasi. Thank you so much and goodbye.